Colorama. An effects and presets, type in Colorama and drag it onto your video. Go down to the output cycle and click the preset palette and play around with the 20 plus presets. In the input phase, keyframe the phase shift and go ahead in your timeline, crank this number and now you'll have a really cool trippy effect. Add it to cutouts to make it even more spicy. And all these effects require no plugins. So wait, I don't need this? Score! TV effect. Type in bad TV and drag on one of the three presets to your video and now you have a really quick and easy TV effect. Play with the presets and add these effects to add a little more spice. Cartoon. Drag on the cartoon effect onto your video and copy these settings to get this cartoon effect. Did you take my effects? Give me that. Oh, echo effect. Drag the echo effect onto your video and change the steps to 25 and set the decay to 0.65. Next, change the echo operator to composite in front and now if your video has motion, it will have a really cool echo trail. Shutter effect. Drag on posterize time and set the frame rate to 12 and next, type in CC wide time and drag it onto your same video. Set the forward steps to three and change the backward steps to seven and add pixel motion blur to get this really cool shutter effect. CC Radio Blur. Drag on CC Radio Blur to your video and set the keyframe to 4 and go ahead in your timeline in 2 seconds and set the keyframe to negative 4. Continue this process through your clip to get this really spicy radio blur effect. Optics Compensation. Apply Optics Compensation onto your video and change the field of view to 75. Add a black solid below your layer and now you have a base for a spicy TV warp effect. Add in TV glitches and tritones to spice them up. I gotta find more effects. <laughs> CC Scale Wipe. Cut out your subject. Next, use Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and add CC Scale Wipe to your middle layer. Change the direction to 0 and go to the beginning of your clip and change the stretch to 10 and add a keyframe. Go ahead in your timeline and set the stretch to 0 and you've just created a quick stretch effect. Play around with direction and add some glows to spice it up. CC Light Wipe. On your transition, extend your first clip over your second clip and apply CC Light Wipe to your first clip. Set a keyframe on completion to 0, go to the end and set the completion to 100. Add Radio Blur to your clip and set the type to Zoom. Keyframe amount to 0 and go ahead and set it to 40. And now go to the end and put it to 0. And now you have this unique light transition. Like and subscribe so I can get a ride to the next video.